Pungzathan asked people who are objecting the three bills passed by Manipur Assembly to suggest modifications. Former Chief Minister R.K. Jaychandra remembered on his 75th birth anniversary, Okram Ibobi describes him as a man of principles. Milal warns that schools which prohibit students from speaking mother tongue will be banned indefinitely. And Atom Kul Kuman Kul in Lamsang subdivision becomes the first solar park village in the entire northeast. Hello and welcome. You're watching Impact Prime Time News. I'm Butchu Malabam with the top stories. For the first time after the Churachanpur flare-up in the aftermath of the three bills passed by the Manipur State Assembly in which nine persons died, Health Minister Fungzathan Tonsing today stated that the bills do not compromise the interests of the tribal people. He also asked them to point out if there be any such clause or clauses in the three bills. Fungzathan asked the people who are objecting the three bills passed by the State Assembly to suggest modifications. The minister condemned the dictate of the JSC formed against the bills not to include tribal MLAs in the talks between the JSC and the government and said sidelining a member of a family in family affairs is unfortunate. Maintaining that all 60 MLAs should be held responsible for any problem in the state, not him alone, the health minister asked to bring out any documentary evidence to prove that Maitai have taken advantage with the bill. Tribal get makta, maitai get makta. Asi phaklo hai bale rabadi. Sarkar can reveal. Government can reveal any time. Pauzik su asi phatte rabadi. Asi chapter si zaud mein usse happy ro. Asi modify to be ro. Le rabadi. MLS are also not perfect. Adu mo, adu mo le rabadi. Hazan hai se. Aur mo si mo sa mang nasu hai bani. Kari mo ma na koi nasi. Koi na sok kano mal le. Si di sen dok pi ro. Le re pi ro. Asi dok thok pi ro. Natragana, a si hapjin bi ikro. Si chapter, si section, si close. Hai re pi ro ikro. Kari hai re ansa. No. Hai kato wara di emele zao. Chaiba le emele zao da bi da hai ge. Imung giwari sa sel ka da ma pa ga. Imung khara kato. Na cha sing zao wa ya ro. Hai re bi ma pa na nung hai kato. The minister was speaking at the Congress Workers Mid 2016 of Turachanpur Assembly Constituency held at Salem House Ning Thiem Kool Sangai Pro. Fung Zatang also took serious note of threat posed to the integrity of Manipur by some vested interests. Manipur se kangbur hana tonga na hai ning ba leh basu. We are one Manipur na leh ba missing si amatani. Manipur integrity ki batang basu. E koi ki integrity Manipur state integrity koi na ngak tari kana na ngak kani. Imung parbadi in au sukong nop jangi na social ko sukong nua ba. Hosong onop jana ikam sunga ahon sok pabana koi jana khanto na development kichi ka hongom ahi chitu ni ka genwa ma. The 75th birth anniversary of the first union minister from Manipur and the 7th chief minister of Manipur R.K. Jaychandra was observed today at Sagolban Bizoy Govinda ground. The observance was organized by R.K. Jaychandra Singh Memorial Trust. Speaking on the occasion, Chief Minister Okrami Bobi described the late R.K. Jaychandra as a man of principles and a great statesman. Deputy Chief Minister Gai Kangam, Lok Sabha MP Dr. T.H. Maina, Deputy, Chief, uh, Deputy Speaker Presho Shimre, several MLAs, members of Manipur Bar Association, among others, attended the function. Attendees led by Chief Minister also offered floral tributes at the portrait of the late leader. A video CD based on the life of R.K. Jaychandra was also released on the occasion. Sagolban MLA R.K. Imo, who is also the son of R.K. Jai Chandra, announced that half of his salary will be distributed to 200 old persons and 100 widows. Sakatpa development high visiti loiba kamba loiba kamba naiba naiga da ba port na ti sangka da angamba hai manam lay manam katpa madugi matakta kwai dagi maruoi ba di sangka na pamjaram ba maya. Education Minister Moirang Temokendra apprised the HRD Minister Smriti Irani of the present school education in Manipur and the problems faced by the state in achieving quality school education. 
The meeting of state education ministers and secretaries chaired by HRD Minister Smriti Rani was held in New Delhi on Monday to discuss ways to improve the quality of schooling in the country. Faced with a shortage of 1.2 million school teachers, the central government asked states to put in place a structured recruitment plan to reduce backlog and attract quality graduates to the profession. Education Minister Mwerang Themokendro, who took part in a meeting, informed the meeting that training is being provided to untrained elementary teachers under the provision of right, to, right of Children to Free and Compulsory Education Act 2009 RTE and guidelines of National Council of Teachers Education. Okendro urged the Union HRD Minister to set up Teachers Education College in a college to give professional training like be it in hill districts of Manipur. He said in the first phase in January 2004, Manipur government in collaboration with IGNU trained 2,700 teachers in 28 study centers in open distance learning. Training for 2,224 teachers have started in January 2015 for the second phase. He said the HRD ministry has provided Rs 7.90 crore under SSA SMA. The meeting approved the constitution of a committee to frame rules for sending of interns of teachers education program to government schools. The committee will have education secretaries of Rajasthan, Karnataka, Uttarakhand and Tripura, representatives of NCT and Kendra Vidyalaya Sangathan as members. The internship will be for 20 weeks. Union Minister Smriti Rani and School Education Secretary Subhas Kuntia told the conference to get to work to the, uh, on the plan immediately as it will be key to improving the quality of schooling in the country. The swearing-in of Lilong Nagar Panchayat Council was held today at the office of the DC Imphal West. BJP won five seats of the nine-member Nagar Panchayat. Namairakpam Ongbi Gitabali, who had been elected chairperson, and Arambam Ongbi Omila Devi, vice chairperson, and the three members were felicitated at, the, at a function at the residence of BJP State Executive Member Ningombam Nil Kumar at Kawa Selung Balekai. Ningom Nil Kumar said under Prime Minister Narendra Modi's leadership, the Nagar Panchayat will be able to make progress. ไปกิทาเซเบเซไมยังมีมังดทําจะเกเลดีบาสกองซิลเกเอเรียซิงซิตานาตนาลิลงนกรปัญจายดิมฟาลเวสกีเอเรียซิงซิตาซวยดนา
They also demand that Division of Manipur University Vishi into VC Finance, VC Academy and VC Administration so that it can fully function. The order for appointment of Dr. M. Shuresh Kumar as Research Associate for uh, Associate of Center for Human Rights and Duties Education came on January 28, 2015. The students have been boycotting classes till that. BC order Makada, Kang 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 order Amana, Yam Inga Chapna Lazer, a quick academy atmosphere, a Kaibi Yamna, Lakpa, Hana, Quagi misappropriations of Fungi, Matang, let's say, Nakrab Layer of Kanang, Misak Amabu, Nahona, financial or Fanasi Matang, UTM assigned Torpa, a higher authority sing the Masi, Atumba Kontani, and a low bra, power segregation, Amadi, my function segregation, Daka, Labor Targadi, BC as a home tona, Hibadi, BC finance, BC academy, Amazon, BC administration. Democratic Students Alliance of Manipur, Desam and All Naga Students Association Manipur Ansam have decided to work for the common cause and understand deeper understanding of the issues concerning different communities living in the state. The two student bodies held three rounds of meeting before deciding to work together with commitment for the common interests of all communities. Atom Kuman Kul becomes the first solar powered village in the entire Northeast region. The village is located 14 km from Imphal in Lamshang subdivision, Imphal West. Mangal Rural today distributed solar lighting system free of cost to 30 households. The lighting system will also supply light to street lamps, schools, temples, village ground, and club. Mangal Rural also distributed free LED TV and solar power pack to the villagers. Mangal Rural founder Surjit Ningthausam told Impact News that Mangal Rural aims at providing light in the areas where there is no electricity supply. ก็คือตัวมาแล้วสงกติโกกตะบ่ไอ้อาจารย์อาจารย์ก็เรียนเงินตอกคุณคือเข้าเรียนนะก็อาจารย์ซีซีคลอนิกดิสิสมากุมน
a rocket launcher's shell was discovered from the pond of Krishavigyan Kendra Utlo under Nambu subdivision. The shell was discovered after the water of the pond was drained out for fishing yesterday. The team of Nambol police and bomb disposal squad of Manipur police picked up the shell and exploded safely at a place near Machin Manau Hill. Maite Ek Irol Loinashalol Apunbalo Milal today warned that schools which prohibit speaking of mother tongue in school will be banned indefinitely. Speaking at a press meet held at its head office, President Moirang Thim Naukhom Mitei said it is necessary to preserve and promote the language and the script of one's own mother tongue and one will not be considered educated for one's ability to speak other languages. Naukhom Mitei also added that there is nothing wrong in teaching in English or Hindi as per the subject, but the tradition of disallowing students to converse in their own mother tongue will tantamount to extinction of the language someday. He maintained that penalization of schools of students for speaking their mother tongue in schools should stop within 10 days. Representatives of Milal will visit and inspect schools to curb the practice from tomorrow. Milal also appealed to students and parents to report to Milal if they come across any such practice in schools. National Curriculum Framework 2005 Class 1 the Kinas have been published three language from Lana Sanaraba. Class 19 similar two language from Lana Sanaraba. Lunana Malenguena, Sai Kudingi Hoji, Hewari Kumatweda, Mama Lon Kanem, the Mutam Malengu Malon, Yumi and Sanaraba, Adum Bapantroba, Matam Asida, Langdomasi, Mailu Sang Singda, Asum Laba, Mama Lon Nango Simbu, Ating Batamba, Lorena, Pine Tin Bebse, Langdomasigi, Yellow Missing Bu, Mutan Nova Sinba. Yellow missing loan manga never seen by Adum Bomb, my licensing Hana, Milana, Lok the Bangam Jeroy, Asumba, my licensing, Malay, Miang, my Lebanian, Milana, Miam de Lokuxeri. Manipur Students Federation MSF today celebrated one year of moral education awareness program included in the academic campaign of MSF, a coilatic Ningtina Tamshi at the multi purpose hall of Imphal College. The academic campaign was jointly initiated by MSF, Bangal Students Organization, PSO, Manipur. Nat Kanbalop, MNKL and All Manipur Art and Culture Students Union, Amaksu from 2006. <laughs> Manipur Electricity Employees Union today state to sit in in Taubal to praise the demand for regularization of work charge and muster roll employees of the erstwhile Manipur Electricity Department. Working President of the Union Rana Pratap said they are protesting to draw the attention of the government to the grievances of the work charge and muster roll employees. Jiribam District Demand Committee has appealed to the people for their support in its agitation to press its demand. The committee has decided to resume its National Highway Economic Blockade from February 10 midnight to February 15 on National Highway 37. It said the, it would resort to indefinite economic blockade if the government fails to meet the demand for Jiribam District. Three books, namely Ngasi Natre Hausikni, a short drama written by Lanboy Rongmai, The Philosophy of Contemporary World Religion by Angam Jatung Chiru, and Mirangpan, a short story book in Tangkul by Ayung Rai Khan, were released today at Manipur Press Club. The event was organized by the Hill People Literary Union Manipur. Members of Saiti Parishad, Writers Forum, and member of the Hill People Literary Union attended the function. 
Speaking on the occasion, Deputy Chief Minister Guy Kangam stressed the role of writers in transforming a society. He also said, without writers, it is impossible to trace past events and understand the present situation of the state. Sangai Artists Association today left Imphal to participate in the Bharat Rang Mahotsab International Theatre Festival organized by National School of Drama, New Delhi. Manipur State Shumang Lila Council Lifetime President PH Gunachandra Sharma flagged off the artist at Iboyama Shumang Lila Sanglen Palace Compound. On the other hand, Sangai Artist Association appreciated people for helping them to participate in the festival. Now in sports, railways and Jharkhand were drawn 2-2 in a match of the first Rani Gaidinliu All India Women's Invitation Football Tournament played at Kumanlam Park Men's Stadium today. In another match, Manipur beat Shakim 2-1, E. Bidyarani and N. Ratanbala Nated did two goals for Manipur in the 46th and 83rd minute of the match. Seven teams from different parts of the country are taking part in the tournament organized by Jaliang Rong Sporting Union under the aegis of All India Football Federation and All Manipur Football Association as part of the 100th birth anniversary of Rani Gaidinlu. Bihar will meet Odisha in a league match tomorrow. In the last league match of the elite cricket tournament played at Luang Pokpa Cricket Ground, Luang Sangbom today, Blue Hawk Kurai beat YWC Langtabal by 14 runs. Winning the toast, YWC Langtabal elected to field while betting first, Blue Hawk Kurai met 145 runs for 7 in 35 overs. In reply, YWC Langtabal managed to take 131 runs, losing all the wickets in 28.5 overs. Blue Hawk Kurai bowler Jitendra was adjudged the man of the match for taking four wickets. The final match will be played on the 14th of this month. FC Tello beat YPF Yangang Pokpi 3-2 and STP B sector defeated SPYC Saizang 3-2 today in the 6th Lamlai Kendra Village Wise Men's Open 7 aside Chalo Cup football tournament organized by Chalo Youth Union Club. BSU Nongpokakching and FC Lamlai will play in the first while FC Takhel and MYC Laimakong Mapal in the second match tomorrow. HUDIC Hangang and NFC Sagol Ban Moirang Lairag won their respective match in the first youth integration club Kaisam Tong Maning Long Jam Lekai on the 21 four men's aside football tournament. HUDIC Hangang bid SWC Nganapithong by 1 0 in the first match, while NFC Sagol Ban Moirang Lairag defeated host youth integration club A Kaisam Tong Maning Long Jam Lekai 3 0. Khoripaba Nambol will clash with y the YUC Moirang Purel tomorrow. The track and field events of the 12th South Asian Games began in Guwahati today. Indian athletes figured in swimming, weightlifting, cycling, badminton, squash, table tennis, tennis, football and wushu among others. India won 6 gold, 4 silver in swimming, 10 gold, 4 silver in archery. In the medals tally, India is sitting pretty at the top with 73 gold, 35 silver and 10 bronze, followed by Sri Lanka in the second and Pakistan in the third. That's all we have for the timing, but before we wind the session of the bulletin, let's have a look at that lines once again. Pungzatang asks people who are objecting the three bills passed by Manipur Assembly to suggest modifications. 
Former Chief Minister R.K. Jaitan remembered on his 75th birth anniversary. Okram Ibobi describes him as a man of principles. Milal warns that schools which prohibit students from speaking mother tongue will be banned indefinitely. And Atom Kumanpool in Lamsang subdivision becomes the first solar-powered village in the entire northeast.